All right, we wanted to try something a little bit different here mm -hmm. and start to look at players that are quite closely ranked for us and decide who we're going to go with. So this video is Javante Williams or Najee Harris. Sheesh. Who do you prefer on your team? Who do you want to ride with? Who would you draft first? Right, um, right. Mm -hmm. If you could choose one or the other, okay? And firstly, um, I just want to say that I genuinely don't think that there's a wrong answer here. Okay. Agreed, 100%. However, I do think that this is fun to look at. So I'll go first. I'm going to go Javante Williams. And a lot of people aren't going to like this because I know Najee is like RB2 behind JT for almost everyone that I've talked to. But mm -hmm. I would go Javante Williams. And there's a little caveat here. Look, if Melvin Gordon does return, then you do have to probably take Najee, especially if it's a long-term deal for Melvin. But I'm assuming that Melvin's gone. It just doesn't make sense, in my opinion, for him to return to Denver. So let's just right. get, it, get that out of the way, mm -hmm. okay? And let me say this as well. Najee's age is not going to be part of my conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to talk about his age because it doesn't concern me. Yes, he's 23 years old, but so is Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor is 10 months younger than, than Najee. But is anyone afraid to draft JT because of age? No. So it doesn't make sense for me to bring, you know, his age into the conversation. Uh, he's still on his first contract as well, which is massive, which has a fifth year option. So I think he's going to probably get a long term contract after that. So age isn't something that I'm going to bring to the table here. Right. Okay. Um, but I will tell you why I'm choosing Javante over Najee. And the first two things I'm going to tell you about were very close for me. OK, offensive line play. The Steelers were were pretty bad. Okay, they had the seventh worst offensive line in the NFL. Right. Broncos were right around the middle of the pack. However, we're talking about dynasty here, so things can change. Steelers had the the youngest offensive line, if I'm not mistaken, so they can improve. I mean, these teams can improve through free agency. So that's not something I'm really going to look at. If you look at Najee and Javante just from an outsider's perspective, Najee looks like the the way more valuable prospect here or talent here because he got so many opportunities last year okay he was first in targets amongst running backs mm -hmm. second in, in carries okay so if you look at that you're automatically going to be pointing towards uh Najee Harris here okay uh but instead of looking at at offensive line play how about we look at efficiency both were pretty efficient in different areas okay right yards created per touch Najee 30th in the NFL you could argue maybe that's the offensive line play maybe he did the most that he could with what he had but Javante, 11th in the NFL. So obviously a little bit better. Evaded tackles. Najee was second in the NFL. Javante, sixth. I see that as a clean wash because Javante had way less opportunities right. than, than Najee Harris. If we look at breakaway runs, Najee, surprisingly, I mean, I feel like every game I watch, Najee was just running for two or three yards every 100%. time. But he had the eighth most breakaway runs where Javante had 17th, the 17th most. Again, way less time way less opportunities. Right, so, right. you know, all this, you know, while keeping in mind that Najee Harris faced a stack front formation on almost 17% of his temp, attempts, that's 16th highest in the NFL. So he was facing a lot of stacked fronts. Um, so again, everything I've talked about so far, it puts it out a lock for me. It's a tie, okay? Okay, I, I see Najee's been more valuable so far in redraft, mm -hmm. okay? I see the offensive line is relatively even, can improve on both sides. I see they were both efficient players, we're really just like we're we're diving in here and just trying to find a reason to draft either one. And the last one, and the reason that kind of put me over the top towards Javante, is the wear and tear of each player. Again, I'm not talking about age. I'm purely talking about wear and tear. Again, right, okay. not age, but how many miles are on the body for each player. Let's go back to the college days. Najee Harris, 51 games played. 638 career rushing attempts in college. Javante Williams, 34 games played, only 366 career rushing attempts. And he also was able to share the workload with Michael Carter. Right. A lot of people were questioning Javante coming out of, the, uh, out of college, saying, well, he shared a backfield. I argue that's actually great because I know the talent that he is and there's less miles on the body. So if you look at college alone, Najee already had 272 more rushing attempts coming into the NFL, okay? That's a full season. I mean, that's a full season. He's already older, and that's a full season. Now let's look right. at the rookie years, right? Mm -hmm. So Najee Harris, 307 rushing attempts this year. Javante Williams, 203, 100 plus less. Again, minimal details here, but we are trying to make a very, very close call, 
Okay, so mm-hmm. if we combine college and the pros so far, Najee has 376 more rushing attempts than Javante. Right. So, again, while age kind of matters, I think wear and tear is something that we should be evaluating even more. And for me, I am going to go Javante. Uh, I am under the impression that he will be the lead running back here in Denver. And okay. if that is the case, then it is it is Javante for me. Again, I don't think that there's a wrong answer. I think you can say Najee. Um, for me, I have Javante as my RB2. Najee as my RB3. We're splitting hairs here. 100%. But uh, I wanted to <laughs> to kind of give my reasoning. <laughs> no, no doubt about it. Look, and, and it's good reasoning. There's so many people out there that love Najee or Javante. I, I really like both. And once again, like Zach said, there is no wrong answer. But for me, it's Najee Harris. Okay. I believe he is the more complete back. Once again, just picking at little things that I do believe there is no wrong answer in my opinion. He is yeah. the the ideal size for a running back. We saw what he was in college, probably the best running back in his in his draft class. So I'm not saying he's a generational talent, but he is somebody that's going to be here for a very long time. And once again, not saying that that's not going to happen for Javante because I do believe he is just as talented as yeah. as Najee Harris. But one thing for me that I looked at was where did they go? Their their thought, you know, where their landing spot, their organization, mm-hmm. the successful um, history for the Pittsburgh Steelers and this running back, Jerome Bettis, you know, Harris, Le'Veon Bell, all these guys that have been successful running backs because of this organization, historic or- organization, and Najee is going there. And I think that, that really... I mean, there's a- I'll just say quickly, there's a lot of there's, really good running backs out of Denver, too. No, 100%. And that's but. what I'm saying. Like, uh, and I completely agree. And the same thing coming out of Denver. Really good. Some really good running backs. But for me, I yeah. think not, once I again, what you're saying, nitpicking though. the little, little things. Right, right. And what's really happening, I think the organization is a lot more successful when it comes down to that. Okay. And, you know, one thing, you know, you hit the nail on the head with everything. Honestly, the yards and everything, the the, the stats comparison. For me, it's also like, okay, what did Najee actually do this year? Mm-hmm. And Najee was behind one of the worst offensive lines, and look what he did. He finished RB3, rushed over 1,000 yep. yards, and had the third most um, reception out of the running backs. That's impressive to not have, basically not have an offensive line. He was mm-hmm. evading six, seven guys at a time every single play, it felt like, and yeah. he did the most what he can well, what he can do. And imagine if he actually had an offensive line. If they were to get in the middle of the pack, let's say they get the middle of the pack, like the Denver Broncos, they had the 19 most, right. uh, the 19 best or worst um, offensive line, how much better can Najee be? Is Najee competing for, for RB1 every single year with Jonathan Taylor? I don't know. Mm. Maybe. That could yeah. be a conversation. And But for me, Javante Williams, once again, a incredible talent. I do believe he's capable of putting up the Najee numbers, especially what he did. But my biggest question mark, and I know Zach already point, like you know hinted at it, is Melvin Gordon. All these yeah. talks, and once again, this is dynasty, so this is a long period of time. But yeah. maybe you have to consider that, you know, if Melvin does, Mel, if Melvin is here for another year, you just lost a whole year of Javante Williams, or you just mm-hmm. either lost a whole year, or you kind of got an extension of that year, you know. Well, and I was maybe, gonna say, yeah, you lost a year, but. You have less wear and tear on him. Yeah, exactly. And, and that could you be know, a thing. And he's, here's the thing. I'll just quickly say on Melvin as well, because mm-hmm. there's a lot of people in our live streams freaking out that I took Javante over Nagy. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, there's no wrong choice here, but we're talking about a 29-year-old running back that we're worried about. Like, Melvin yeah. was great last year, but historically, this isn't a player that we should really worry about. Sorry, continue. No, and I agree. And, you know, another question for you guys and, once again, really nitpicking at the little things. What does the organization, how does the organization, the Denver Broncos, see Javante? Are they already, qu- not questioning, but if they're really thinking about keeping Melvin, do, are they like not really trusting in Javante? Do they not believe mm-hmm. he could be the lead back? Do they believe he can be at best a running back by committee guy? Because that's where he came out of. I don't think that's the case in my personal opinion, but maybe Come that's something. Now. Maybe that's something. I'm just saying, once that again, is, nitpicking, nitpicking. We are picking. exploding something that's not even in Exactly. So, like, is that the case? But for me, both of these guys are extreme talents. There is yeah. no wrong answer. I love taking Najee, um, and I love taking Javante Williams. I have both of these guys in multiple dynasty leagues. There is no wrong answer. Just go with your heart. Go with your gut. I think so, is no, Najee is your two. Where's Javante? Najee's my two. Javante is my three. Okay. I just want to quickly say one more thing that I thought of while we were discussing this. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So Najee Harris finished second in targets this year, right? Mm -hmm. Are we so sure that the new offense is going to be as, like the new quarterback is going to be as bad as Big Ben and have to throw it that many times? I mean, we're talking about a game where Najee Harris had 17 targets. Right. And the only, only other thing I just want to throw in there is, like, of the work we saw from two from both guys, who is most likely to replicate that and maybe improve their numbers? Do you know what I mean? Right. So right. that's the only other thing I want to say is Najee like, has a lot to lose going into Najee this year. has a lot to lose 100%. compared to what happened last year with yeah. the targets. So, um, but you, th you know, I just thought of this people who are going to be upset that we're not even talking about DeAndre Swift. Look, <laughs> if DeAndre Swift is your running back too, that's fine. Like, yeah. you know, I someone commented on one of our, our videos saying, there's absolutely no way that you're not having DeAndre Swift as your running back too. I'm like, dude, if that's what you want to do, then that's what you want to do. He's he's my four, I'm pretty sure. So he's not far behind. But right. um, there, are, that's a that's a completely different. A whole other. So. I mean, we could do a, a Swift Javante or Swift whatever the case, Najee video. Just let us know in yeah. the comments. We're down to do something as exciting as that as well. It'd be interesting. Let us know where you're going. Are you going Javante or Najee? Comment down below. Yo, what's good? We're Thanks up. for watching. We got a lot more videos. A lot more. If you want more videos. Watch now, it. You can also subscribe. Right now. If you want to. You need to. And lastly, don't forget that you can sign up to support the show mm -hmm. and get exclusive content by going to patreon.com forward slash fantasyland fam.